Um, I feel I will get judged based on my beliefs. And then you guys can talk about it. No, kind of going off of what you said, like your answer to the previous question, you kind of want to have to fly under the radar because of what people have said. And, I mean, there is a majority in public education, and obviously, you know, we live in California, so there's a, a little bit of a, I guess it's kind of tense when, when it gets brought up, so you kind of just want to avoid the judgment because it's definitely there. I feel like a lot of people think like, we're like freeloaders and want everything for free. Yeah. But really, what we want is like for everyone to have what she needs. Like, even though it is already provided, not everyone starts the same. So, I, I just feel like no matter what, they're like, oh, like you're a lift hard or whatever. Like, we're not taking it seriously either. To talk about more on the religious side, I know people will always tell me there is a God, or, and like, I've had friends who had discussions about me, I mean, God and stuff like that, and he tries to expose me like that there is a God, like there's a reason why things happen, and I know he, I'm already being judged for believing either not denying one and like not claiming that there's no real God, but I know for religion side, it comes more of like they force you to believe in God. The opposite of it being someone who tries to be intellectual but also religious is difficult because people will think that you're less smart for a believer in God, especially in upper education. Uh, when you, just as your beliefs grow, or even you could say knowledge, you could say just as well as any, anyone you believe in. So that's something that's always hard to balance. But I don't think that if you're on the other opposite end of the spectrum, you're there are people who are more liberal who do believe in God. And I mean and that's also difficult because you have people believing that if you're liberal, if you're for everyone being the same, like that it ultimately means that you cannot believe in God. Yeah, like I'm liberal but obviously like I go to like temple and stuff because I'm Jewish and but like that doesn't mean like because I'm liberal I can't be religious because I totally like disagree with people um, like not treating people who are homosexual the same as like me. It's just I find it disrespectful and you know most people that are religious they do that. They separate straight from homosexual and it just it, it kind of bothers me because sometimes it's like okay but if that's what religion is then do I want to be religious? So I don't for me, I feel like, I feel like, um, I'm not sometimes people are like, oh, but how are you still, like, religious and stuff? But I still go to church every Sunday and stuff, and about, like, when she touched on the homosexual thing, um, a lot of things are changing, like, we're not in the, like, 1700s anymore, like, even the Pope has come out and said, like, it's okay, like, people don't take the Bible word for word, they use it and they change it for our situation. So, I think, like, I don't know. Okay, next question, based on time. I feel Trump is racist. He most definitely is racist. I think racism is a really strong word, but he does like lean towards it. Uh, I feel like he uses it as a tactic to obtain support from a certain certain people. Um, but I'm not saying like. I think everyone, to an extent, is at least a little prejudiced in their views, and so I feel like he has just made that more public than most people. I feel like he does utilize, that is a strong word, honestly, but I feel like he just does use that um, to to convince people for like the, um, just for like things in general, like the wall, uh, things like that, just like, just to convince more people to get to his side by using the stereotypes and stuff like that. Uh, disagree Yeah, I think racism is I think racist is a very unwise word to throw around, like the word Nazi or the word bigot, or all these things that like really make someone look awful. You're 
or just anything, any of these like really important words that we're putting, that we attribute all this thing to, are being devalued to me. And if you want that, that's fine. I mean, uh, racial slurs, I'm fine with devaluing them. They're unimportant, we shouldn't use them anyways. I'm fine with not caring what those things exist. But if we're gonna lower the term racism to just define to anyone, especially like anyone on this side of the table could become racist because of a lot of the things that people attribute to that side. So like, if we wanted to value that, we could also say that Hillary was racist and pandering to minorities in all of these um, types of, uh, and you know, a lot of politicians do the same thing. Um, I, for one, I mean, my family's immigrants, but I've always said we need to border security because there are people that really want to be in this country that can't because there's too many problems with people getting over here illegally, and there's too many problems with people that are causing issues that I'm aware of. I know that there's gangs and cartel members and like things that are extremely dangerous that I don't want in this country, that none of us do. So, you know, I'm, I've always felt like we do need these things, there's just a better way to talk about it. I'm proud to be American. I'm proud to be American. Proud American proud citizen. America. Yeah. 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 I just, this country is way better than so many others. And I, one of the things I read while I was listening to a speech, one of the things someone said, really, really good professor, he said, I don't believe in imperialism, but I believe in imperialism of ideas. The spreading of ideas, not through violence, but through knowledge. And I think America is one of the best countries for spreading knowledge. I think that is really important to me because knowledge is what you know, I find most important in the country. So I'm, you know, I'm proud to be part of a country that provides the world with so much good that we don't normally, we don't take it for granted. You know, hunger, all those things that have been diminished in the past few years because of technology that, you know, that we have been majority creating. Yeah, so I'm always proud to be part of something that we take for granted. We have a lot more freedom than a lot of other countries do. A lot of other countries do that. A lot of things that America will let everyone like have free ideas like this. We all have our own opinion. Some countries, like with the monarch, wouldn't let that happen. I'm so proud to be in a country where we don't throw people who are dead air and who are different ideas off buildings. That's why I'm proud to be here. Freedom to push them. And I'm proud to be here because everyone's able to say their own opinion. You don't have to be like so fearful and about it. You can plus like. You're given the opportunity. Like you're given the opportunity. Some people have to try like harder than others and stuff, but the opportunity is there. So everyone has a chance to get some. Okay, I'm gonna say the last.